If you're new to Defender for Cloud, it connects the security team and developers in your company. For security teams, for your apps, there's cloud security posture management to surface actions to predict and give you recommendations for preventing breaches before they happen. For cloud infrastructure and workloads, it gives you insights to highlight risks and guide you with specific protections that you can implement. For all of your virtual machines, your data infrastructure, including databases and storage. And for your developers, using DevOps, you can even see best practice insights and associated risks with API endpoints being used, and in containers, see misconfigurations, exposed secrets, and vulnerabilities. And for cloud infrastructure entitlement management, you can find out where you have potentially over-provisioned or inactive entitlements that could lead to a breach. And the nice thing is that from the central SecOps team perspective, these signals all flow into Microsoft Defender for end-to-end -end security tracking.